Welcome to Wrestling News Co. I'm Mona Nawaz. It is Royal Rumble weekend. I have with me Ronson Reed. How are you today? I heard you were tired. I am tired, but that's the reason I wear sunglasses inside. I can get away with it as a pro wrestler, but also sort of hides the red eyes as well. <laughs> so does that mean we're not ready for the Royal Rumble this weekend? I'm always ready. Okay, always you're ready. ready. So we're anticipating to see you walk in. Of course. You got it. Yeah, come on. How could you not put someone like me in the Royal Rumble? Listen, I agree, but let me ask you this question. There's a lot of big superstars coming in. Everybody's hungry for a world title run. Uh, what is your game plan going in with this this weekend? Uh, I'm going to use my size to my advantage. There's a reason my nickname is Big. And uh, I don't think, I, I, I said, I looked around at the 30, 29 other possible people in this match. I don't think anyone's going to be able to throw me over the top rope. Not even Otis, because I heard you talking about him. He's very strong. He's picked me up before. But like I said, he's not the smartest guy. So if I can just avoid him, I think I'm pretty good. Even with Chad Gable in the ring with him? Yeah, of course. Okay. Separate the two. If Chad can't speak to him, he can't, you know, doesn't have the wits about him to get me over that top rope. Well, I'm definitely looking forward to that. Now, on a different note, I heard you talk about Rhea Ripley being a big fan of yours. Yes. And she came in, she came and visited you on multiple occasions when you were wrestling. Tell me more about that. Big fan. Yeah, well, we both started, uh, both from the same town, Adelaide, South Australia. I started wrestling a, a little while before her. Uh, and when she was a teenager, she used to come watch me as a fan, <laughs> funnily enough. And then I was able to actually watch her start her career, start training, and go all the way through to what she is now today. So uh, it's pretty cool. It, it is. You know, she had some beef with my daughter ringside one time. No, and I didn't know that. But it sounds like something she would do. It sounds like yeah. it, but you know what? It's pretty uncontrollable, to be honest. <laughs> it's, it's long story telling, you know. Uh, but let me ask you this. Uh, we're assuming you're going to win the Royal Rumble. Is that correct? Of course, yeah. Okay. You have to go into these things assuming you're going to win. You have to. You have to, yeah. You have to. Full of confidence. Always. Always. I definitely agree. And if you had to pick a winner for the Women's Royal Rumble, who would that be? Nia Jax. Nia? Yeah, she's a scary individual. And I don't think anyone's going to be able to throw her over the top rope either. But... Nobody in the locker room likes her. Don't you think everybody's going to just try to throw her as soon as she comes in the ring? I mean, that does happen a lot to a lot of the larger individuals that get in there. But I feel like she can throw some headbutts, throw some fists. You see, I've seen her punch people. I'm scared. I'm, I'm telling you, I feel like she could uh, sort out whoever's in the ring and last the whole way through. I definitely agree. Well, listen, I wish you best of luck this weekend. I'm definitely going to be rooting for you ringside. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you.